Um, uh, thank you so much for your question. Um, concerning the relationship between um, English as a foreign language and global citizenship education, uh, so simply we can say um, that, um, so today we are living in a globalized world and um, um, uh, we can consider English like um, as a lingua franca. So in order to know more about like other cultures, it's, it's so hard for us to learn, to learn all languages. So I think that English is kind of, um, um, something like as a tool, as a tool that we can use in order to build this glo global citizenship education. And there are like many scholars who uh, prove that uh, English uh, classes um, uh, are very efficient uh, places uh, that we can um, um, use in order to uh, incorporate uh, this notion. Mm -hmm. Okay, before that, I'd like to say that I don't think that we should teach uh, global citizenship education only in EFL classrooms. Uh, normally, it should be integrated in all the courses, not only in EFL classrooms. And uh, for your second question, uh, you said uh, whether it should be taught separately or uh, it should be integrated. Uh, I think that uh, mm, when we review the literature related to this, uh, we found that usually many teachers complain about uh, not being able uh, to teach it as a separate module because uh, they don't find the time. Uh, so uh, personally, I think that it should be integrated with all the modules because it can, it can be integrated with civilization, with culture, with geography, and there are even um, mainly in, West, in Western universities today, they are teaching it even with mathematics and physics. This is my answer for your question. Uh, yeah, yeah, concerning this point, like the integration of global citizenship education in other uh, subjects, it's not, uh, it's not about explicitly teaching like global citizenship education, but teaching it like through uh, integrating other concepts like critical thinking, uh, uh, ICT, so these are uh, intercultural communication, so these are like um, uh, points that, we, uh, that are realized that in global citizenship education. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if there is uh, there are other questions to ask, please. If it's the case, please. The floor is yours. from Wurgla. Amina. Yeah. Um, my question is addressed to Mrs. Amina from Wurgla. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciated like listening listen to your presentation. Um, and I really appreciated like incorporating triangulation. Um, concerning, um, I just have a question concerning the, um, the integration of civic skills within the EFL syllabus. Um, so you have said that if, like, out of your classroom observation, you explore that there is like a richness in civic notions. So I'm just a little bit curious about what are the civic notions that you uh, uh, you came up to find in um, uh, secondary school AFL course books. Thank you so much.
other questions? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I've got two questions addressed to Amel Herdin. Well, I honestly appreciated your presentation. Uh, this is why I am asking you this question. How do you do, how do you do to remember everything related to your paper? What is the secret of having such a memory? Okay, the second question is, <laughs> uh, it's quite beautiful and inter interesting what you said. How it, would it be possible to apply it to local context? You spoke about something related to civic education and uh, how is it possible to implement it in the Algerian context? Bearing in mind these multi situations we are going through. Another question addressed to. Uh, to uh, would you remember me? Mahi. Huh? Mahi. Maybe it's not you who spoke about healthy functioning of the No, it's uh Amel Binti Raniran Bombardifik. No, c'est juste revenir à la réalité. Okay? Uh, back to reality. Healthy functioning of constitution or something constitutional, um, so on and so forth. Uh, I didn't uh, keep all the words, but it's related to constitution. Well, is it an ambition or a way of ignoring the real situation in our nation, in Algeria? This is why you spoke about, and this is uh, the reason why I'm asking myself whether it is possible, whether the, uh, the, the student is conscious, okay? Are you conscious? Do you know what is happening in Algeria? Can we speak about a healthy functioning of the constitution? Thank you. Uh, before you're uh, giving us your answer, could I, if you don't mind, of course, uh, add my personal question too. Could I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, in your presentation, you have spoken about some kind of uh, cultural, even political agencies. Could you just tell us more about them? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to add something else, if you don't mind again. Okay. Uh, how could you comment the existing discrepancies between the promise and the practice. Uh, I wonder if uh, I've been clear. Um, okay, thank you. I've talked much about, you've talked much about uh, some existing 
political control agencies. And how about the existing discrepancy between the promise and the practice? If there is if there is no other question, I would like to ask my uh, our colleague, mainly Mr. Mahi, you've talked much about uh, the role, the significance of citizenship. I mean, uh, I'm actually, I've been teaching civilization for at least, let's say, seven years. I've always been through, this, the, um, through teaching the Greek Roman legacy, mainly uh, in terms of the concept such as the agora, the palace, the Greek city-states. So my question would be this. How could it be possible? Uh, I mean, at the level of speech, of course, there have been and there will be so many uh, interesting contributions in, in this field in particular. But the problem is, is there any, that's my first question, public sphere or some kind of Algerian uh, uh, agora, police, not the police, the police, the Greek city-states, where uh, there is a public space open for debate. So, So, your primary focus in your contribution was mainly on the concept of citizenship. So, I've been saying that, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, there cannot be citizenry or ci the idea of citizenship is intimately related to an existing viable agora, a public space. And the question, my question is this, is there any public space in Algeria? A public space. I don't think there is a public space to, uh, in Algeria to, uh, uh, to have a, a discussion or to discuss the, uh, the role of civic education in the, uh, in the public community. Uh, because the way we or the way we apply the uh, the notion of civic education in public is not yet complete. Especially when the students so. Express. 